T Strachan asks, uh, so can we override the sort group on parts of the object like a sword, maybe sorts in front of the lower higher layer? So the so another, if you need a more fine-grained control over a sorting layer, we have, if you need to reorder elements within a sorting layer, uh, you can use the order in layer field here, which will allow you to control on a more granular level uh, what is rendered in front of what within the sorting layer. So in this case, these are all already separate objects, right? And then you can control the order in layer using the order in layer field. Yeah, so within the sprite renderer, there's an order in layer field, um, which allows you to reorder things at a more granular level within the sorting layer. Uh, DStu99, yes, I am using physics in this case. This is all physics driven. Uh, the auto mover, well, it's like, Semi physics. What am I? Let me just check what I'm doing. I forget what I did in the script. I think I'm doing add move position, maybe. Yeah. So here, here's the code for the mover. This is just in fixed update. We're doing rb2d dot move position. Super simple. Oh, the slowdown script. Yeah, slowdown script is really simple. Here's the game controller. And all we're doing here is uh, there is a trigger, invisible box here, game over trigger. And it's just got a little script on it called trigger game over. It's got a reference to the game controller. And on trigger enter 2D, we just call game controller dot end game. And then in the game controller, we have end game. And all we're doing is we're setting time dot time scale to 0.1, changing the text to game over and activating the reload button. And then when we restart the game, we put the time scale back to one. Incredibly simple. But yeah, that's like my go-to cheapo game over thing. Just be like, ooh, time slows down. Uh, Street Fighter style. Uh, how long does it take to develop a 2D game? That really depends. This being a very simple one screen game took me about a day and a half, two days, and then the artist probably took a day or two to make the art. We had a couple of days of talking about the art, so I'd say probably a, you could get this all done in a week with you know people who know what they're doing. If you're a beginner, it's going to take much, much longer, but you'll be learning, so that's important. All right, I'm going to wrap it up and cut my mic. Thank you for all of you guys who stuck around to the end, all 99 of you. Uh, great to see you all. Welcome back to all the regulars and welcome to everybody joining us for the first time. Glad you were here. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks with writing your first shader, a very, very basic beginner oriented uh, look at writing shaders for Unity. Should be a lot of fun. And I'll hang out in the chat and answer any further questions via text. But thanks so much for coming and thanks for watching. Bye.